Mark 11. And when they came nigh to Jerusalem, unto Bethphage and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, he sendeth forth two of his disciples, and saith unto them, Go your way into the village over against you, and as soon as ye be entered into it, ye shall find a coat tied, whereon never man sat. Loose him, and bring him. And if any man say unto you, Why do ye this? Say ye that the Lord hath need of him, and straightway he will send him hither. And they went their way, and found the coat tied by the door, without in a place where two ways met, and they loose him. And certain of them that stood there said unto them, What do ye, loosing the coat? And they said unto them, Even as Jesus had commanded, and they let them go. And they brought the coat to Jesus, and cast their garments on him, and he sat upon him. And many spread their garments in the way, and others cut down branches off the trees, and strawed them in the way. And they that went before, and they that followed, cried, saying, Hosanna! Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord! Blessed be the kingdom of our father David, that cometh in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! And Jesus entered into Jerusalem, and into the temple, and when he had looked round about upon all things, and now the eventide was come, he went out unto Bethany with the twelve. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, he came, if haply he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for the time of figs was not yet. And Jesus answered and said unto it, no man eat fruit of thee hereafter for ever. And his disciples heard it. And they come to Jerusalem. And Jesus went into the temple, and began to cast out them that sold and bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changers, and the seats of them that sold doves, and would not suffer that any man should carry any vessel through the temple. And he taught, saying unto them, Is it not written, My house shall be called of all nations the house of prayer? but ye have made it a den of thieves. And the scribes and chief priests heard it, and sought how they might destroy him, for they feared him, because all the people was astonished at his doctrine. And when even was come, he went out of the city. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, calling to remembrance, saith unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursedst, is withered away. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And when ye stand praying, forgive if ye have aught against any. That your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. And they come again to Jerusalem. And as he was walking in the temple, there come to him the chief priests. Hebrews 11. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was 
translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. By faith. First letter from John, chapter 1. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled, of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. First John 2 My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father Jesus Christ, the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And hereby we do know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which ye had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past, and the true light now shineth. He that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whither he goeth because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong. And the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. Love not the world neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes 
and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away. Hello, YouTube viewers. This is Blake Phantom. Listen. As I, as I have showed and told you on this channel on many occasions, the Lord's return is near. Who is the, the Lord, you may ask, if you've not heard of him or watched this channel? His name is Jesus. And if you'll read in, in the books in the New Living or New King James Bibles, in the, in the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, you can see. Hello, YouTube viewers. This is Blake Fannin. Listen. As I, as I have showed and told you on this channel on many occasions, the Lord's return is near. Who is the, the Lord, you may ask, if you've not heard of him or watched this channel? His name is Jesus. And if you'll read in, in the books in the New Living or New King James Bibles, in the, in the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, you can see Jesus died for you. He came to this earth and died for you. He died to set you free from captivity, from fear, from anxiety, from all, all of your problems. And, and that's not the only reason. He wants a relationship with you. The Heavenly Father sent him to die so he and the Heavenly Father could have a relationship with you as well as the Holy Spirit. Who are they, you ask? Those are all three members of what is called the Holy Trinity. Three gods in, in one. Father, Son, and Spirit. YouTube viewers, if you will ask Jesus it into your heart today, if you will ask him into your heart right now, I can tell you, life will not, will not always be easy, but it will always be great. You can, you, you, you can ask Him for help. You can ask Him for help with every single problem you have. He will heal your body. He will heal your mind. And He will give you peace. Isaiah chapters 5 through 9, I forget which, but in, in one of those it says, one of Jesus' titles will be the Prince of Peace. He will give you peace beyond all uh, understanding. Psalm 138 says, The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Romans 8.28 says, For we know that all things work together for them who love the, the, the Lord and them who are, calling, who are called according to His purpose. YouTube viewers, I urge you, I urge you, ask Jesus into your heart right now. If you'll read John chapter 3 verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so none, sh so none shall perish, but, but all will have eternal life that believe in him. For the Lord sent not the the Lord sent not His Son to condemn the wor world, but to save it. There is no judgment awaiting those who trust Him, but those who have who do not trust Him have already been judged for not believing in God's only Son. Now, after Jesus returns which could be any time, any time now. That door of, of salvation, all, all opportunities to be saved 
by this covenant will be lost. YouTube viewers, I urge you, repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I repent of all that I've done wrong. I ask you to come, come into my heart and life. I make you my Lord and the Savior. YouTube viewers, if if you have prayed that pr prayer, you are now a born-again Christian. You are now a child of the Most High Lord. He loves you. Now, I encourage you, read your Bible. Read, read the New King James or, or New Living Translation Bibles beginning in Matthew, Mark, Luke, or, or John. And then, then continue reading in the New, te the New te Testament. Set aside a certain time every day for for prayer. I, I recommend right right after you, you you get off work. And and then maybe maybe right, right before bed, read your Bible for for maybe 15, 15 to thirty five minutes. And then ask the Lord to to, to speak to your heart and change your life. Ask Him to speak to your heart and change your life undeniably and permanently but now whenever you pray you be sure and ask it in Jesus name thank you and and one thing if you asked Jesus in in into your heart I would love to know it please let, let, let me know in the comments below as you like share read your Bible and su subscribe thank you Now, y y y YouTube viewers, listen to me very, very closely. The Bible clearly says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, a, a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and a sound mind. This is a message from God. Please like, share, and subscribe.